Alright, today we're having a look at Smarty the Squirrel, the Short Pilot by Miltfire108. Alright, so here we are in Smarty Squirrel, the uh, Short Pilot. When I first saw this come up on Twitter, and I, I thought that you know, Short Pilot could have two possible meanings. It, it could mean, as this level is, kind of an introduction and a demo, like a, a pilot to a TV series. Or it could also mean that Smarty is a pilot who is short. I was hoping for the second, but we got the first, and that's okay. Um, interesting look to the level going on here. It reminds me a lot of coloring with crayons that we, we looked at, oh uh, jeez, wow, already three months back. And uh, it's, it's got that kind of hand-done look that I do really enjoy. Hi, Smarty. 30 plus 4. It does seem that it's, it's going to be kind of like a puzzling level, uh, a working things out level. But I'm not 100% sure yet how I answer the, the puzzles, what the controls are. There's a 4 here. Like, do I need... Okay, so I got a 4. I mean, the answer is 34, right? Uh, of course, the answer is 34, but how do I input that answer? Is there a, a 3 and a 0? Well, we just got a... No, wait, we got a 4. Hi. Wait, what? Well, wait, wait, what do you mean? It's, it's, how, how, how can it be over? I just died once. Uh, hold on a second. <laughs> I'm well confused. Alright, let's try this again. We gotta get the 34. Cool. Here's Smarty. I do like the character model for Smarty, by the way. I think it's very, uh, very kawaii. It's got that nice little, uh, the bobble. Like, the, the bobble-headed look to it. And a cute squeaking. And that's always nice. I don't know why one death would knock you out of the level. Oh, okay, so we just have to find the numbers that make the answer. So, it's not really that we're solving puzzles, but we're looking for numbers. And that's fine, I, I can live with that. Uh, now we need a 4 and we need a 5, because 9 times 5 is 45. Oh, there's an L1 there. Wow! Oh, okay. A secret ability, perhaps? If we see an L1, we can uh, highlight a hidden message. Oh, we could do that any time. Interesting. So we got a secret decoder ring. Not a Dakota Fanning ring. That That's completely different. That's like a web ring that's de devoted to Dakota Fanning. And nobody even does web rings anymore, so... Ah, so, come back. Okay, there's our five. Wait, because we already had the four, maybe? I'm so confused. But, I mean, that's... Uh, it's cool. I'm, I'm not going to complain too much about it. I guess we keep the four in our inventory? Now we don't want to die because then we'd have to do all this over again and that would suck. So, I'm really liking the look of this. It's... Oh, fudge. Oh wait, what? Why didn't we have to start over from scratch? Maybe the first death was a glitch. That's possible. I'm willing to accept that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, was, why? It's okay. It's okay. I don't, I mean, there's no indication that those are going to be any more dangerous than any other blocks that we're dealing with. Fudge. Alright, we just need to find a one and two zeros. Or maybe just a one and a zero. Let, let's do this. Let's do this for realsies. That, that's, that's for realsies. We're, you know... I, no, we didn't do it for realsies. I'm liking all the, the bits that are going on in the uh, the background and the flooring. And it does make it feel like there's a little bit more here than we saw in the environment for... height coloring with crayons. So there's that. Oh, fudge. Mmm, pressure. Under pressure. Do, 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 do. That, that's, you know... Not the Vanilla Ice song. It's the, the David Bowie song. Uh, Vanilla Ice stole that because he's a thief. White people. Um. Ow! Wait. Didn't it take two hits before? Now it only takes one? Ah, uh, there's some weirdness going on in the hood. And I don't know really how I'm supposed to account for that. Gosh darn it. 
We've only got 12 seconds left. I'm sorry that the platforming at the end, uh, by me, not by the creator, has not been stellar. I think we could say that. Uh, we gotta go back to the hub. We'll talk about it there. See ya. And we're back. And Smarty the Squirrel, the short pilot by Miltfire108. And I'd say it's a yellow square. It's a softer yellow square, and for some people it may be dragged down a little bit into orange diamond territory by some issues that we're going to discuss later. But I, I feel that the, the charm in the presentation, most of the presentation, and the fact that it, it features and highlights the squirrel as the main character brought it up, at least for me, into the yellow square territory. Now, there should be a little bit of truth in advertising here. Uh, my name, Viscombe, means squirrel girl. So... Obviously, as soon as I saw Media Molecule retweet this, uh, I knew I definitely wanted to take a look at it, and I made some extra time this morning. It's about 5 o'clock in the morning here, so that I could get the recording done before I forgot. And I, I did really enjoy the level. I really liked the look of the level. It, as mentioned in the video, it, it felt very reminiscent of Coloring with Crayons that we looked at back in July. And uh, it's got that kind of that pastel style. You've got a lot of objects floating in space. Uh, there's a lot of like colored in look to the level that I, I really, really enjoyed. This one I felt had a little bit more movement going on in the sky and in kind of the, the background and the, the under areas. So it, it felt a bit more lively. It felt a little bit more active and I, I appreciated that. I like the character model for the most part. It's cute, it's charming, it's, it's very Saturday morning cartoon proportioned type of character. There's not really any animation to the character's face, which does make it look a, a little bit statuesque at times, but most of the time you're looking at the back of uh, Smarty's head, so that's not really a big issue. There is a sitting animation, which I appreciated. I, I like when we've got little idle animations going on like that. The music as well, I thought the music was pretty well put together. Uh, it, it, it hangs for the level. It, it keeps things feeling a little bit lively. It's not an amazing track. It does, depending on how long it takes you to go through the level, you may feel it goes on a little bit over long. But, but I enjoyed it. I, I felt that there was some work put into that, and I, I really appreciated that work. So those are all really good points. We get to the, the gameplay aspect of it, and I'm looking at the... The, the title page on uh, indreams.me right now and it says palette levels smarty the squirrel symbol codes and numbers defined in some hilarious hidden references and I kind of had the idea going into the level that it was going to be a puzzler and kind of the initial introduction animation where they, they show you the first kind of quote unquote puzzle there and I thought okay well you know we're going to have to be interacting with the level in some way we're going to have to be inputting these answers in some way and that's not really the case what this is is mostly a, a fetch quest so to speak you don't have to solve these puzzles these math equations that are put up uh, on the gates you just have to find the, the little paper numbers and and they will automatically input for you it doesn't matter what order you find those numbers in it, it you know it doesn't matter what numbers you've found previously you once you've got a number you've basically always got a number and that's I mean that's not bad that's not a, a bad way to go about it. there's a lot of games in general a lot of creations on dreams and in LBP where basically you're just finding things to open doors you're finding key objects to open doors um, but I you know it was not exactly what what I had expected and one issue I did find and this is a presentation issue I think because the you know the the surrounding area and the platforms and the environment it's very very white and it's very very bright so it can make those papers that the number papers a little bit difficult to find and in a way I think that it's not so much that they're hidden it's not like you're, you're really searching for them and finding them in a secret spot it's more just that they're, they're really hard to see against the, the the background colors and against the platform colors so that is a, it's a small point against it but usually the areas that we were in uh, although this is a, it's a demo area, uh, were small enough that you would eventually run into those numbers. There was a neat little effect where we had that secret decoder ring and we could hit the uh, L1 button 
light things up and see secret messages. It didn't really come into play all that much, but, but I did like that small interaction with the environment. I thought that part was pretty cool. There was one section where it, it looked like there was no number to find, but if you look hard enough, you can find a way to actually bypass the gate. And I, I thought that was interesting as well. It's not really level breaking. I, I'm sure that Milkfire 108 put this in here on purpose. But that, that kind of feeling that, oh, we did find something secret. I, I thought that was nice. Now, uh, along with the, the presentation being a little bit over bright at times, there are, it is a, a number of, not a number of, there, there are a couple of negative points, I think, that do need to be addressed. Uh, one, the platforming is not particularly fun. Uh, we, we saw it at the end of the video there, and at least, and, and this I want to point out, I thought that this was cool, that Milkfire has tweaked around with jump height and jump distance and speed, so you're not zipping around like you usually are. Uh, with a lot of dreams creations and you're getting where you're overshooting platforms because you're moving too quickly although I do think that may have dragged it down a little bit too much so in this case now you're undershooting platforms a little bit too easily so that was a little bit frustrating I, f I found that section actually to be quite frustrating and wasn't sure if I was going to push on through it uh, you can actually jump over those deadly blocks uh, it just doesn't feel that way because of your jump height uh, but it is doable the fact that those blocks are deadly I do think could have been scaffolded a little bit better there's no other hazard like that in the level before you encounter it and you encounter it in a section where uh, being hit by it is almost definitely going to kill you because either it's going to knock you off the platform or you're going to take a second hit. Sometimes it seemed like one hit, sometimes it seemed like two hits, and that would kill you as well. So I think maybe introducing the fact that there are hazardous blocks or making them more obvious that there are hazardous blocks before we get to a section where we're going to encounter them in platforming might have been a good idea. There was a little bit of weirdness with the uh, the first death that we had in the video where it bounced us directly back to the main menu, well the exit menu. I don't know why I did that. Uh, it never happened again. It may have just been some kind of weirdo glitch, but see if that comes up for you and let me know. Uh, it might have just been a one-off kind of thing. Uh, all in all and overall, I did have a good time with this level, and I am looking forward to seeing more from Smarty the Squirrel. Perhaps some of the issues that you know, we mentioned here will be addressed in the future, but while we are waiting for more to come, uh, give this one a look and see what you think about it, and, and hopefully you'll have as good a time as I did, and will not have as frustrating a time as I did with that little bit of platforming that we saw towards the end. But I think that pretty much does it for us here this go about. So from me, Visco, here in Osaka, to all of you out there, wherever you may happen to be, thank you, thank you. Arigato, arigasamu, ryota, sayonara, see you, and ciao.